Seasonality patterns can add a lot of diversification to any portfolio because seasonal patterns have different drivers than your uh, normal algo trading strategy. In this video, I will show you seasonal patterns on the US dollar, the S&P 500 index, stocks inside the US market, and also some global stocks that show seasonal patterns in December. Also, I will show you a unique way how to use seasonal patterns to build strategies and to use them as a filter for other strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Stad Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, welcome aboard, thank you for joining, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that I post on this channel. As I get many questions about Forex, although I don't trade Forex, but I do trade currencies through futures. So I will show you the US dollar index futures seasonal pattern. So if you're a subscriber to season X, then most likely you've got this blog where it shows you the seasonal pattern of the US index. Now the US index comprises of these six currencies and at different uh, weights, of course, the Euro being the biggest weight. And this is the seasonal pattern for December. It's a really good pattern. And here I put the seasonal pattern to test. So this is the uh, December 22 to end of December, and it's a short pattern. And then it goes long from January 1st to 9th of January. So here, this is trade station, and I loaded DX, which is the futures for the US dollar index. And these are the trades long and short every december and january and this is the performance it's one contract we have 60 trades because i have 30 years of data so 30 long 30 shorts as you can see here and both the long and short making money uh, roughly 63 uh, percent uh, profitable and this is the performance we just made a new high between 2019 and 2020 and this is a big drawdown in the beginning let's see if we can do something about this drawdown so this is the code. So because I'm going short, I'm looking for the close to be lower than the average of three bars. I just want like a signal that we are going low. Once we finish the short trade, we are going for the long trade. So we're looking for a U-turn. And when the short succeed, that means the RSI went down. So then it makes sense to look for an RSI. And that's what I did. So this is the RSI 2 lower than 20. So if I do this and we load the strategy again, and now we lowered the drawdown a lot. This is roughly $1,200 and we're making a little bit less money. So instead of 14,000, we're making 12,000 something. Uh, we eliminated half the trades, but now also our uh, winning uh, percent went up uh, 75% now. The average net profit went up and still both short and long are profitable. So this is a huge enhancement to this pattern. Right? And the average holding bar is 4.5. So roughly looking at the 10 trading days to get this performance. So if we look again, this is $375 on average. And look at this, the margin for the dollar index is $2,000, $2,100. So really, the average trade is, is a huge. I mean, if you make both trades, that's $700 on 2100. That's 30% return if you get both of them uh, right. At 75% winning rate, that means you have 25% chance of losing. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Still, it's a very good odds. Now, December also have great patterns for stocks. So although we know that there is a seasonal pattern in the S&P 500, and I will get to that in a minute, but let's look at some stocks. So here we are again in season X using the screener, and I just put the S&P 500 out of, uh, we have many indexes here, and this is starting December, 15 years, and I'm looking, I filtered for winning percentage of 80%, and I looked, I got all these patterns, and I can sort them. Uh, by instrument, by symbol, by average return. You can sort by any of these columns. But it's very interesting that the computer picked, like if I sort by median return, the computer picked 
some of the stocks that I had them already in my portfolio. So if you are a Discord member here, I share monthly seasonal stocks. And of course, November was the biggest with 69 patterns. And December is about 22 patterns. But in December, I have this CF. CF here starts at December 3rd to January 2nd. And in my Discord portfolio, it starts on the on December 14th till December 22nd. So my holding period is less. And this is the pattern. So I'm always looking for a shorter period to hold because the less you are in the market, the better, of course. But it's nice to see that the AI picked up the same pattern that I picked. Uh, the seasonal stock portfolio, uh, you can watch that in the corner. It has 444 patterns during the year. Now also stocks all over the globe have seasonal pattern. So here is the ASX, which is the Australian stock index. And these uh, we have what 114 patterns already. And if I filter on the 80% winning rate, we'll have 17 patterns already with some of them nine, five, four, four. These are really good patterns because the median return is good. And for example, this is Mineral uh, Resources. So if you are in Australia, you probably know this company. And this is a really good pattern for this company. 18th of December till January 2nd with 80% winning probability and 5.74 uh, median return. If you hold longer till January 7th, you get a better return. So you can see seasonality works on all over the globe. It works on stocks, currencies, futures. And you should really incorporate seasonality in your portfolio. Now, I did the seasonality pattern on the S&P 500 many times. You can watch the video here. And basically, uh, the S&P 500 has a great seasonal pattern starting in uh, end of October till May. So first of all, this is the seasonal pattern in December alone, which starts at 14th of December till January 3rd. And you can see the median is 1.56 with 72% winning rate. This is the, for the past 25 years. Of course, the pattern worked for the past 70 years, which is the data I have here. Uh, 77 uh, win percent and 1.46 median for the past 71 years. Past 10 years, 80%. So it's, it's really very reliable pattern to use. Now you can use this pattern alone and trade and I do this every year of course and I do trade it. It's really really robust. So like you see the pattern is extremely robust for the past 70 years. I mean we've seen low interest rate, high interest rate, bear market, bull markets, everything. And the uh, win percent hovering between 70 and 80 percent. Median return hovering between 1 and 3 percent really highly robust pattern and it's part of the big pattern which is long from november till may but of course here we have a very short uh, period to hold which is roughly uh, 12 uh, trading days but now i will show you a unique way on how to use this pattern if you don't want to use it on its own so here we are in algo wizard strategy quant x and this is the rsi2 strategy and by now probably you memorize this because I featured this strategy so many times on the channel. Uh, this is the RSI 2. Below 25, we go long. And above 75, we exit. It's a mirror version strategy, which works really well. So this is the strategy. And it's, of course, we know it's really good. It works. We are making 131,000 profit, 279 trades, 469 average trade. The exposure is 27. And the open drawdown is 33% compounding at 14 uh, using a $25,000 starting capital. And right now we are trading one contract only. So now we will use the seasonality to increase our odds of making profits because seasonal patterns have good odds in this strategy. So we know December is really good for the S&P 500. So I will use December to increase the number of contracts. So I added the variable here and contract and then i use this if then if we are in december i will increase my end contracts to three and if we are not in december i will set it to one so it's either one or three and then i will go 
to the entry and in the size I will change it to define our own size and we will use this variable we are using one contract all the time except when the trade happened in December we will use three contracts so same number of trades same drawdown but now we increase the profits to 177 instead of 131 so we achieved 40,000 plus uh, dollar profit for uh, the same strategy that's 30 plus percent uh, in the profits without affecting the drawdown without affecting the exposure we increased the average trade so all in all we enhanced the strategy by a lot by only using a simple line of code which is just trade different number of uh, contracts when the odds with uh, on our side in this case i'm using seasonality to increase our odds so you can use seasonality as their own strategy they don't trade a lot in this case it's one trade a year or you can use seasonality intraweek intraday but also you can use seasonality as a filter for other strategies to trade or not to trade also you can use seasonality to increase your position size so there are many ways to increase seasonality and this will add as i mentioned in the beginning a different driver which will add diversification to your portfolio of course if you have any questions any answers i'll be more than happy to answer you if you post them below the video i do read and answer all questions sent to the channel and if you want to take this further and be a part of my inner circle you are more than welcome to join the discord server through the link below where i host live weekly questions and answer sessions with more than 400 questions already answered in video sessions of course you will get access to the seasonal stock portfolio where there are more than 400 patterns during the year alongside the tactical asset allocation portfolio signals and strategy codes and much much more as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon